what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial uh, in this video i want to show you how to protect your pdf document uh, from uh, copying and editing and also from uh, printing so i'm going to open up uh, this folder that contains two uh, of these pdf documents and i'm also going to let me just create a txt and call it copy so if i double click on this first pdf and then so this pdf is not protected and uh, it can easily be manip manipulated uh, for example you can let me open uh, our this txt so i can easily copy all of this paragraph copy and then i can right click and paste so you can see it's easy to copy uh, the content of this uh, document you can also uh, edit let go to tools if you if you don't have uh if you don't have this edit pdf you can find it in the tools just click on tools and then uh there is edit pdf uh, edit pdf edit this one here so you can easily drag it to the toward this uh, right hand side uh, tab so if we click on edit pdf uh, i can easily let's say i want to uh, i want to remove that water and replace with something like uh, ocean and uh, can easily remove global you can see it's easy to edit this pdf and uh, do some uh, some changes so in order to protect that you can you can just let me close it down and uh, delete that so in order to protect to pro to uh, avoid that Let's first of all, you're going to use two methods. First, uh, number one, you're going to use uh, an internet and then uh, some website. And then um, the second method, you're going to use Adobe Acrobat uh, Pro. So I'm going to open up uh, my Google Chrome. And then you can use any any other uh, web browser. And then just type uh, PDF to go. I'll provide uh, the link to our uh, today's uh, website on the description below so we can see we have lots of uh, uh, tools in this website but what we want is protect PDF click on protect PDF so don't worry I'll, pro I'll, I'll, pro I'll provide the link the direct link to this page to this uh, web page so now you are here you are under uh, protect pdf so, uh, you can open up this uh, so you can either drag or you can simply uh, click on choose file then navigate to where you have uh, your document so it's going to just give it time to upload then you can see now that the file is already uploaded so you need now to set uh, to set the restrictions so on the first settings it's about you are, you are restricting people from viewing this pdf without password uh, that's not what, what you want what you want is to want, we want to set a uh, password to restrict permissions so uh, Go, so go to this second uh, settings this second settings uh, leave this one alone so go to this one this second uh, settings and then uh, make sure that uh, you select all you check all these permissions so preventing from printing uh, prevent uh, from copying and then from modifying and then you are going to provide uh, a password so 
any person that want to modify or want to copy or print will have to provide uh, the password for this. So I'm going to type in the password, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, and repeat uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then click start. So it's going to process that uh, document, it's going to encrypt with the password, and then now you can see it's, uh, it's telling you that it's done, the process, the processing is done. You are now uh, free to download so click on this you can download as a zip file or you can upload to a cloud so i'm going to download so i'm going to you can see now here it's, it's, it's actually downloading now it's done i'm going to open up where so i'm going to right click and uh, copy it somewhere else i'm going to cut then you can you can just close that down i'm going to copy it here paste and then say uh, protected from web like that now uh if you open up this what we've just downloaded from the web and uh, we try to we try to copy let's let's try to copy right click you can see now you can't if you, even if you uh, if you even if you highlight and then uh, press down control c and try to control v on this uh, other side nothing happens because now it's protected and if you try to edit uh, the way we did the previously click on edit pdf you can see now it's telling you it's asking you to provide the password for that so you can't do anything without a uh, password and if you provide the wrong password like that you can see uh, the password is incorrect if you pro provide the correct password now you can see you can now uh, go ahead and uh, edit that so that's from the website that's uh, now that's the tool that you can use uh, the website that you can use to uh, protect your pdf now let's look at let's have a look at uh, adobe acrobat uh, so let's try let's open this one it is the do same document i've just uh, renamed so so you can see uh, i can just uh, right highlight and then copy and then right click and paste simple but if i want to protect this now inside this uh, adobe acrobat uh, pro I can simply go to uh, protect on the on the uh, right hand side bar you can see this protect or if you, you can't see it just go to more tools click on more tools and go to uh, find protect this one here then drag it toward this uh, uh, side so you can see now uh, if you want now to protect it just click on protect and then you will see these uh, tools uh, open up so if you close it and then try again to open you can see now uh, some other tools have been added you click on these advanced options and uh, encrypt with password click yes and uh, ignore the first uh, settings this uh, when you want to open the document you need to provide the password that's not what you want i went for permission so click on this so you are going to restrict uh, printing make sure that uh, it is selected as none also change none and uh, make sure th this one is not selected enable copying of text images if you click on it uh, people will be, will be able to uh, uh, to copy and uh, print or to copy the text the content of this uh, pdf that's not what you want 
So make it make sure that it is uh, unchecked and then click OK. Uh, OK. Uh, just just oh, OK. I forgot to provide the password. So I'm going to provide a password again. Uh, this time round, let me uh, try uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The same way. Click OK. Click OK, and then uh, repeat the same password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click OK. Click OK, and then uh, you can Control S to say, and then uh, close. So this time round, if you try to copy, let me try again to you can now see the same uh, the same case as the way we protected the the other pdf so you can't do anything if i try to edit it's uh you, you, need, you need to provide the uh, password for that so those are the two effective methods that you can use to uh, protect your pdf from uh, copying uh, editing and printing so uh, that's it that's all for the for today uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial.